<laughs> and there it goes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. And I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Perfect. Looking spectacular, Coach. Thank you. You look Looking. well. Oh, you're so kind, considering that I just woke up like 15 <laughs> minutes ago. And I'm still I'm still dealing with uh, the older brother Kermit Frog voice. So, <laughs> so it's like, Funny, hello, I... how, how are you doing, Coach? Good to see you today. Good to see you, too. I just woke up as well. <laughs> <laughs> and did you just wake up, too? I did. I woke up like this. <laughs> oh, and you know what? When, when you got it like that, you got it like that. Some people got it like that. Obviously, uh, it's almost as if every follicle, uh, every follicle of yours has uh, aligned itself with the universe and looks just just perfect as normal as normal. I think like, I was you know, concerned about my eyebrows being even. <laughs> now I feel now I feel like I'm talking to my sister. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> It's a conversation in which I just sit there and just listen because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> My, mine go every which way, and I'm comfortable with that. I, I think it's uh, I think it makes me look stoic. Makes me look stoic. Uh, you, on the other hand, look uh, every ounce of uh, wonderful. But I know what you're going to say is going to match that as well, because uh, I want to talk to you about your page. Uh, a number of people uh, will find you very encouraging. Uh, because as a coach, you uh, understand what's involved in making uh, making life easier for others. Yes. Help, helping them find a point of destination mm -hmm. and uh, motivation mm -hmm. uh, is the way uh, is the way I see you. But I know the audience is going to appreciate that. Now, this is what I need to do. I need. Yeah, you, you have no idea what you stepped into. I, I need you I need you in your in your own in your own perspective describe what it means to, to be a coach and what coaching means from your viewpoint. So I, I'd say from my viewpoint, I've been a coach for a really long time. Um, and I've seen a lot of avenues which coaching can be um, navigated um, with others. So for me personally, coaching is definitely something that um, I bring inspiration and motivation to the table, um, whether that be a physical transformation, a, a mindset change, or, you know, some sort of emotional connection that I have with my clients. Um, usually it's not just, you know, gym related. Um, for me, I feel like change is evident in the world today as it is in our, our hearts. So for coaching for me, it's really just finding the best plan to help others navigate um, through maybe the interruptions that they have in life and how to react and how not to react and just how to construct a positive routine going forward in their lives. Yeah, most, most of the time, uh, if someone um, talks with you, they want to they wanna check and see whether they're going to work with you or uh, are you going to be able to help them? Most of the time, they're trying to get uh, help or assistance in what part of their life. It's not then just physical, as you're saying. A lot of times, what do you notice when you're working with someone as a coach? So the first thing um, when I'm actually doing my assessments with them, it's just a simple conversation. Um, the first thing that I notice is more so some some sort of tragedy that has um transpired in their life that they can't really seem to get over. They keep backtracking instead of finding a solution. It, it might be very hard to find one, but how to move forward from sort of speak a, a pretty huge roadblock. Okay. And now most of the time the roadblock, now we're just talking here. We're not naming any name, mm -hmm. But most of the time, the roadblock is because it's either self-inflicted or is it generationally inflicted, something that happened in the past, combination thereof. Um, is it uh, self-doubt? What, what is it? Or is it a combination of all, all of those? A combination of all. Um, a lot of self-destruction. Um, so my job as their coach is to figure out kind of what happened to, to cause the self-destruction and how we can come up with a plan together to rebuild it okay. slowly yeah now the slowly part can be quite painful for some people Absolutely. for others may may uh well they may come out of the gate they may come 
out of the chute, ready to go, and then taper off. So how is that for you? So a lot of times uh, my clients are very excited um, when we're on our health assessment. Um, but what I notice, really the first thing that I always notice is they aren't ready to commit um, the physical change. Um, first, what needs to happen is that mental mindset shift. And okay. that's really the most important reason why I became a coach. So to have that, that, that aha moment that, oh my gosh, you're right. This is a, let's hypothetically say a nutrition plan that I'm seeking. I mm. really need to pinpoint what caused my, my habits, my unhealthy habits, see how we can't rearrange them together and then move forward step by step. So I kind of have to reel them back in um, and we got to start from the root of, of the, of the issue really. Right. And most people that you come in contact with, or maybe all, or they're not really looking at the rest of their life being fit. They may only be focusing on their physical life being fit, not recognizing maybe based upon what you said, mm -hmm. that all of this is interconnected. Being fit means more than just lifting weights or doing cardio. Absolutely. Because you, you can't throw a weight at, at somebody, right? You can't throw a weight at what I like to call the outside noise. You have okay. to be able to stand your ground and, and, and think mentally, how am I going to wrap my head around the situation with maintaining a positive, healthy lifestyle? So you can fall into that rabbit hole when you've got let's just say monkey poo flying at you all the time. Right, right, right. You've got a way to, to stand strong and, and hold steady. Hashtag monkey poo. I see t-shirts in your future with that. <laughs> the Coach Chandler line of shirts and, and leggings <laughs> and, and coffee mug and, and, uh, and the water jug, the monkey poo uh, line, the Coach Chandler monkey poo line. I, I like, I, I like that. You're, you're, you're a genius. <laughs> I, I tell my daughters that I, I don't say genius. I said, you're a genius. I don't know what it means. I just like the way it sounds. And I think it should apply to all women. They're not just like a genius. They're genius. You're I both. You're all like a black silhouette of a woman with her hands. Like, like, so. On oh yeah. With the cape. Yeah. With the cape. Oh, this cape. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Man, you're a genius. Hey, you're a marketing genius. You're a marketing genius. All right. Okay. You better get to work on that. Oh, you get to work. work on that with the uh, with the dogs that you have. Oh, by the way, you got to tell everybody about your dog. Just real quick. You have how many? Two or yeah, what? I have two beautiful dogs, a four-year-old black German Shepherd. And then I have a nine-month-old crazy puppy who like has to be next to me at all times. I'm, I actually have my door open for this because he will hurl <laughs> himself at the door to come in okay. next to me. So... His name is Scout. My oldest one is Ajax, and very, very sweet. Um, they love their mama. And very the coolest sweet. names. Yes. The coolest names, I have to say, Ajax and Scout. Uh, <laughs> and it, Scout and Ajax yes. need to have their own line of something. I don't. Maybe calendars. Yeah. Awesome. Dogs that are fit. I've got a slew of of my. I can make a doggy fit calendar. That's it. Seriously. Has, seriously, hashtag dogs, dogs of Instagram, dogs of Facebook. Seriously, everybody would be, they would jump on that. Yes. You, hey, you got a lot of work ahead of you. You better, you better get to that marketing. You better sit down. And, I have my notebook. I don't go anywhere without my notebook. There you go. That, hey, that's the way to do it. I have to, oh, I have to do this real quick. I got to talk about uh, a posting that you did. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let me get back over here. Turn this way. I'm going to do this. Okay. You have a posting uh, July 15th. It says, keep going. You are worth it. People love you. The people love you that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. uh, be grateful for the lot for your life. Look at the good and let go of the pain. Life is good. Be grateful for your life. Look at the good and let go of the pain. That, that posting in itself uh, is a part of it's a part of you. You wouldn't have posted that unless that's the way you perceive life. But also that no doubt is part of the foundation of your, uh, of your coaching. Obviously the dog wants your attention. Is that what it is? Though? Yeah, under my desk right now. <laughs> that's what I thought. Okay. So, so your coaching, uh, it has that type of a mindset. Mm -hmm. 
why did you make a posting like that for social media? So um, a lot of my my friends and family, they have known um, my, I, I'd say my pain that I've been going through the last couple of years. Um, it's kind of been something that I uh, don't really speak on, um, but I solely work through it myself. Um, but really, I saw kind of the light, I'd say a few months ago. Um, I know that there's a lot going on in the world today. And really, the mindset piece of it for me was a, a, just a simple switch in the way that I saw others and mm -hmm. how we could just show kindness and show love, even to a perfect stranger, because we never know what somebody's going through. Why right. it would be, um, I'll use the word gently, attacking um, yeah. or wanting to just inflict some sort of hurtfulness onto you or others. Um, but but really, everyone needs to know that they're here for a purpose. Everybody, regardless if they know what that is or not. And that's another reason why I became a coach. So I can't tell you what their what your purpose is. Only you're going to know that. Um, but really, it was a way for me to express quietly what I've been going through and enduring with my my family, and um, to let people know that I'm okay. Yeah. That, that you know, life is is worth living. You only get one. Why not make it? the best. So really I'm I'm very grateful for the people that have supported me in my life and my my friends that have stayed strong with me through this insane journey and my family, um my newfound family. So I've been married for about a year, been with my husband for about 3. Yeah. We all live all over the place, but I'm so grateful to be a part of everybody's life and I really truly feel that everyone is is a friend of mine. I really yeah. do. That's awesome. There, there are there are pockets of you that are undiscovered, undiscovered by people who know you, by people who don't know you, and undiscovered by well, people that just get to meet you. Mm -hmm. And I see every time I've talked to you in your eyes an opportunity to live life and enjoy it. It shows in your eyes. You're more than what you give out to everyone because you have a space just for you as you deal with things that you deal with, challenges internal with your family. But you still open up your heart to help other people. It's very obvious about you. Thank you. But what's so special about you is not that. What's special is, is that you can come like this morning and have it all together <laughs> and totally have it all together and give of yourself to help others uh to well you're kind of like an adventurous you're like a person who, who who's like you know you help other people move rocks out of the way so that they can find the treasures of themselves underneath those rocks while yeah. at the same time you're also uh, enduring the challenges that yes everyone faces things are happening all over but your challenge is your challenge. My challenge is my challenge. But you find a way that you say, hey, you know what? Let's tackle these together and let's let's enjoy life. Or as you put it in your posting, life is good. Yes. That That's what I see when I look at you, that you're a person who wants to find that little nugget that life is good and you help others do the same. So I, I find you very, very approachable engaging uh you have a depth of sympathy and concern and compassion that comes out based upon who you're talking to it's not the same every time every time i've spoke to you i've got a different marianne but it's the same person surprise <laughs> it's the same person it's the yeah. same person but your perspective is different each time and because of that i wanted to make sure not just my audience but all of social media gets to see a different person because it's easy to, to measure people based upon how many people follow them. And there's so many people we're missing out on if we ignore just a number. What is it about you that gives you the drive that you have? Is it the dogs? Is it the newfound, is it the newfound marriage? And I say found because it's always been there. You guys just happen to do it now. So just <laughs> you guys have always been locked in. It was a, but but uh, 
is it the team the teamwork in your home? Is it your your is it the history of you? What is it that gives you your drive, coach? I think it's everything that you just mentioned. I mean, my family is extremely important to me. Um, we've endured a lot of things that not a lot of families go through on a regular basis, to be honest. Um, so my drive to maintain the happiness and the togetherness in my home is extremely important to me. Um, mm-hmm. The love and support of other people that have reached out to me from the community who I don't even know who they are, but they've reached out is an impact on my soul yeah sorry if i get uh, a- um you you know you know that's a that's a taboo to say sorry you're emotional right. not, not with paxton is, um, I, am- I have crying i have crying rags right over here so so i join in so no go ahead um you know that's another thing is i've always seen um being transparent um a gift for myself i've always seen um you know showing what i can do for others just out in the open um, t- to be a gift. And I think a lot of people are scared to be transparent and be emotional. And um, I think it's something that we all should, should really take to heart and work on because what is, what's it going to hurt you for you sharing your smile? What is it going to hurt you making some stranger laugh or helping somebody pay it forward, buying somebody's coffee? It's not going to cost you anything. You know, you, do, you don't even have to know if you do something kind for somebody, you don't need yeah. that praise. You just do it. So I think, you know, a lot of my history growing up has definitely shaped who I am as a person. Um, I've had to let, let go of a lot of things in my life um, that, that I'm okay with letting go of. So mm-hmm. I've very much so worked through um, those things in my history. And I feel like I'm my best self today, really. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you definitely opened up the you've opened up the doors to an arena in which growth is, is, uh, is more possible than ever before Mm -hmm. because you have no problem meeting new people and taking on new challenges. And, uh, you're right. I I like to tell, um, you know, the people that I do help friends, family, whomever that, you know, you never want to be in like this maintenance phase or I don't, that means you're stagnant. That means you're not evolving. You're not growing. So let's optimize together. Hey man, time out. I'm sorry. That was really good. <laughs> I, I say time out a lot on, on my on my shows because well I have to because I'm a guy. I have to say time out. I gotta I gotta think about what you just said. I gotta process that. Any chance you can repeat what you just said? I can, yes. So I don't live in a maintenance phase. I don't ever encourage maintenance because maintenance means you're stagnant. You're not growing. And we're always wanting to grow, regardless. Mm-hmm. Whatever aspect of life that is, career, family, other personal relationships, just networking, whatever it is, you always want to be growing. So don't ever feel stagnant. If you're stagnant, reach out to anybody and let them know. Yeah. How, how, and, can and, how can you help me? And, and that uh, being stagnant. Wow. Okay. We, we, there needs to be a show in which that's <laughs> talked about. Seriously. Write that thought down. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Put that thought away somewhere. Uh, a show on being stagnant. Because mm-hmm. often the word used is stuck. Often the word used is, an, uh, well, uh, other words. Stagnant is a really good word because that is what a lot of people feel emotionally, whether it be because of COVID or pre-COVID. You know, people are feeling stagnant. Mm-hmm. not have any sense uh, of direction. They feel their emotional compass has been thrown off. I like the way you said that. You know, we have to put our, you know, you and I have to put our brain together. We have to think of something where we can start talking about being fit, not being stagnant mm-hmm. in all aspects of your life. Um, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to brainstorm that one day. You need your own show. That's what you <laughs> need. You, you need your own show. We're, we're going we're, we're gonna to have to talk. We're, we're going to have to talk. We have to put our brains together. Because you make great sense. For example, I'm going to read this to you. <laughs> uh, I, I'm laughing because it's so good. I wish I would have thought of it. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> okay. I know you posted this. It can belong to somebody else, but here we go. It says running away from your problems is a race you'll never win. Face your fears is in the comments. This is what you write in your comments. Stay humble and really think about how you want to live the rest of your life. Why is why is that mindset important when it comes to being fit emotionally, mentally, 
physically? Why is this mindset and that posting important? Because I honestly feel it literally takes a moment in time for you to have a positive shift in the way that you're viewing your life. I mean, your life can change like this. If you're constantly sitting in the negative, you're not going to go anywhere. But if you're manifesting greatness, it's going to happen. Dream big. That's what I always tell everyone. Dream as big as you can dream. I was not a dreamer. I didn't know how to dream big because I was stuck in this mindset of fight or flight. I got to do this. I got to pay my bills. What am I going to do next? How am I going to feed my family? So Mm -hmm. it literally was a simple mindset shift for me that, all right, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm not going to think about the things that scare me. I'm going to think about the things that are awesome in my life, and I'm going to build on that. So facing your fears is definitely... um, something that I go through with my clients. And and it's tough. People don't want to stir that up. They don't want to bring that to the surface, but you have to. You have to deal with it and figure out a way to coexist with it and move forward. So, right. you know, that that's that's really, you know, the the cherry on top for me when I'm talking to, you know, strangers or people that I've known for years that we have to break that surface and we can do it together. When it when it comes to um, breaking that surface, not being stagnant, mm-hmm. people will they will all of us can get in the position where we're we're submersing things that need to come to the surface, mm-hmm. um, and and you have made it a point to work with individuals to do that. Uh, I I have to keep reading your your words from that same post mm-hmm. because they apply to what you're talking about right now. Uh, on this, and we're doing this visual podcast for everyone. So, uh, of course, Coach looks uh, fantastic and exceptionally beautiful as is. Thank you. Uh, all of you have to get accustomed to looking at me uh, because I pretty much wear a white T-shirt on these shows when I'm doing my podcast because I'm doing it in my confined basement somewhere in a secret location in Southern California. <laughs> However, Coach, uh, fantastic as you look and As you sound and the information you give, your words that I'm about to read are very powerful. And they say this, what are you willing to do to change your situation? And then you say, and how you are handling these hurdles. Mm -hmm. Then you give this advice, breathe, center yourself. It's never easy going through hell with others, or yourself, but there's always sunshine on the other side waiting to just, in other words, just for you is what you have. Mm -hmm. When it comes to breathing and centering ourselves, that can be challenging for some people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I am, you know, I'm, I'm no, I would say, um, licensee, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't preach that I know all, but I do know the things that have helped me through my experience and centering myself and breathing. Um, I do connect with nature. Um, I do go outside quite a bit and I let the sun hit my body and I, it just relaxes me. And I also am playing crossword puzzles as well, but that is probably one of the hardest things when you are in a um, a poo storm. Um, monkey poo. You said earlier, monkey poo. Yes. Hashtag monkey poo. poo. They're throwing yeah, like a hurricane in your head, and you cannot find that peak that comes through that tornado. It's just so tiny. That light is just so tiny. But I promise you guys, once you center yourself and find. That one little thing, think of whatever makes you happy, ice cream, your dog, your dad, your mom, your kids, whatever it is, peanut butter. Find that one thing that you can snap out of it. And I promise you, the clouds will open up and that rainbow is going to be right there. Because it's in the moment, you're thinking to yourself, why, why am I in this? Why am I in this? How did I get here? What you should be thinking is, what am I going to learn from this to help me grow? And move forward. So this never happens again. Or if it happens, I know how to handle it. I know how to react. Most of the time, 
the storm, the the monkey poo is flinging so fast, is flinging at you so fast, and we can get caught up in who flung, who flung who flung poo. <laughs> I had to stick that in there. That was good. Who flung poo? We get so concerned that we don't recognize we need to center ourselves. We need to breathe. We need to get sleep. We need to eat healthy. Um, we need to do a number of things. I'm, I'm thinking right now, just, I just recognize I said what I, I just, I just really heard myself what I just said. And there is, uh, Noelia, uh, she, her, at least she's crossed our page or maybe she's still here. Uh, I did a couple of shows with her. And that's what she would say, similar to what you're saying, <laughs> that, but if she would, you know, breathe, you'd have to, you know, she says, get your sleep. She mentioned a number of different things that you're highlighting. What you're saying is necessary for us to be able to to withstand, as you put in this posting, the problem, yes. the challenges. And I can I can 100% tell you just from something that I did um, when I was going through something, you know, earlier this year, I literally went to the back of my neighborhood, had ear pods on to a song. It was called Two Gone by Chaos Emerald. Love it. Mm-hmm. And I hit the ground with my knees, with my arms out, and I screamed. I yeah. screamed so loud. Where yeah. I felt a huge weight come off my shoulder. Yeah. Um, and if that's what centering yourself means, then do it. Yeah. You, you, I, I, I got to tell you this one. That is so, my, my mother's no, my, my mother and father are, are, are not alive anymore. But uh, my, my mother used to tell us that all the time. She says, oh, no, you just go take a walk. Go, go to, go find a vacant field and just scream. And we would go like, that's just the most ridiculous thing when I was younger. You know, that's the most ridiculous thing, mom. Oh, that, what is that going to do? She said, trust me, it works. She says, I know I had seven kids and two miscarriages. Trust me, it works. You just go, you'll feel fine. And you just said it right now. You just, I, and my life, it my, works. Yeah. My beautiful mother-in-law just, yeah. like, just go do that. And I was like, okay, I've never done it. I'm doing it. I'm going to try. It works. Listen. Doesn't it work though? It's amazing how that will work for others. I've had others on the show and they will tell me, um, they have a certain spot when they go hiking. Or they find a new hiking spot and they look for this specific, I told you I just woke up, a specific <laughs> spot so they can go scream. They literally go hiking looking for screaming spots mm-hmm. so they can go do that. And similar to what you just mentioned, uh, if you're if you're listening to this show back, many of you will, uh, many of you will download this and keep it on your own uh, server and watch it uh, or listen to it for sure. Uh, please try that. Mm-hmm. Try what uh, Coach uh, Chandler is talking about. Uh, Coach Chandler knows what she's saying. She's tried it herself. Why do you think that that's beneficial to get it out almost per se with a primal scream when when monkeys are flinging through like, at you? Um, I would say you get such a build up in your body. Um, it it literally starts at your feet, and, and it's almost like a hot hot magma. And it gets so hot in your mind and it builds up so much that you have to physically do something to get it out, whether it's punching a punching bag, working out, going on a crazy hike, like you said, or just literally sitting there and screaming to release so much compression in your body and and depression in your mind that you're just going to feel like a huge weight is lifted off your shoulders. Promise. Promise, guys. Compression. (laughs) compression and depression you just keep coming up with this really cool stuff i'm telling you man you need a show <laughs> you need a show you seriously do you need you need a show all right um I, I i really appreciate everything we got a chance to talk about now i have so much more to talk to you about we're not going to do that because realistically we just in 31 minutes have talked about so much uh, we're going to uh, end the show now. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to talk some more over the next few days. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you again here on uh, Open Session uh, Podcast. But uh, before we go, um, I want to uh, I want to do something with you that you, of course, had no idea I was going to do. But here we go. Uh, there are pictures on your page of individuals who have had a, quote, unquote, transformation. It's such a common word nowadays but a, a transformation, which can mean anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but in your mind, these postings of individuals who have had uh, growth, 
who've made adjustments, who've made changes in their life. These individuals, you post them on your page. How are you connected to them and why do you post them and their success? So I'm connected with them because I coach a particular nutrition program. And I am connected in the community of which the nutrition program is formed. And I love transformation stories. I love somebody that's talking about how not only physical, the physical isn't, I mean, yes, that congratulations. It's a huge, huge win. But when they're talking, they're talking about their mindset. They're talking about that one day they woke up and they have their product, but they seriously went through this, this book that comes with it. It's called a life book. And okay. they, oh my gosh, these are asking hard questions on, on why I became the way that I am. And I'm not talking about overweight. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about self-destruction, self-talk that's negative. They literally are talking about this and posting these pictures of themselves from the program that I have to share. I have to share to the world what I'm doing and mm -hmm. I'm helping others because it's a disservice if I don't. So I'm really congratulating everyone that chose themselves, that chose yeah. to invest in themselves. Most of the people that I see here, um, their smiles, their smiles. In, in their eyes, I love transformation stories too. Um, I, I find it very encouraging. Do you have a posting of yourself in transformation? Yes, there should be one on there. I kind of there, there there is. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what was your transformation? If you had to to give an idea, just an overview of your transformation, as a sense of inspiring others. What would you say would be your transformation? I would say my transformation is knowing that every day that I can be a better me. That's what my transformation is about. How I can help somebody on a daily basis. If you ever reach out to me, something's going wrong. I'm always going to end it with, how can I help you today? So my biggest transformation, I would say, is a, a mental, emotional, and physically, yes, I was able to let go of some extra pounds because my stress levels were so high that, yes, a physical transformation came with it. And that's also something I'm trying to let them know that without the, the mental mindset piece, your, your physical transformation isn't going to move. We have to change the way you're thinking about yourself and about your life. And that's what I did. When it, when it comes to a posting like this, I'm going to read it to you. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. Okay. It's on, it's on your page. It says, never hope for it more than you work for it. Never hope for it more than you work for it. And then in the comments, you put, well, two words and three exclamation marks on your page. It's never quit is in the comments with three exclamation marks. Why is this post important when it comes to transformation, growth, and a positive mindset? Because in every transformation, you're going to hit a hurdle. You're going to want to see results rapidly. You're going to want to see you move on that scale. You want to see you know, your clothes drop. You want to see the people maybe that have hurt you come back. It's a slow and steady process. Hoping everyone can hope. It's about how you're willing to put the work in and never, ever quit on yourself, ever. So the harder you work, the more it will help you in the long run. The more it's going to keep you afloat. The more it's going to keep you strong in your mind and your body and your soul and your heart. So that's what that means to me. You can hope all day long in one hand yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with that monkey thrown, or you can work your butt, yeah. your butt off and you can yeah. get results all over across the board. Okay, so so we start doing the work. Mm -hmm. We start making progress. And now this posting, which will be the last one we talk about, and then we're going to end the show, uh, here with Coach Chandler, if you don't know, now you know. Uh, rec you better recognize Coach in the house. Coach is in the house. You better recognize. Okay, all right, you guys. I won't go I won't go ghetto on you here. But, but uh, I can't take the ghetto out of me. But what I was going to say is, um, Coach Chandler, your page is Coach Dot Chandler uh, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, 
there's got to be great things in your future uh, because more people need to meet you and you need to continue to be an inspiration to others. And uh, I'll read this. This the posting is, don't let the praise go to your head and don't let the criticism go to your heart. A posting that uh, is from someone else that you uh, po- that you put on your page, mm-hmm. uh, but here in the comments is this: There's definitely a balancing act while growing your business. Stay the course. I find you to be a person that talked about being fit, um, not just uh, physically, but in every aspect of a person's life because they're all interconnected. Mm-hmm. But again, if you want inspiration and you want to get a little pick me up, coach doesn't have a million followers, 20,000, 5,000, 3,000, or 1,000, or 200. But everybody's, everybody's sleeping on this woman, on this woman. They're sleeping on you. You're real, you're authentic, and you're organic in, in your way and approach to growing who you are. Anybody can buy followers nowadays and look like they have a big following. But you, with this posting, don't let the praise go to your head. and Don't let the criticism go to your heart. Why is that important in business and in life? So you're always going to be met with criticism, whether it's your own opinion. Um, in business, you know, a lot of people tend to let that hinder their results. And for me, the criticism, I don't know if anyone's ever seen the movie, The Interview, but in my head, I'm like, they hate us because they ain't us. (laughs) Real to the T. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. No, I haven't seen the movie, but I've just been introduced to a really good line. That that is your, that's another shirt of yours. Yes, because they ain't us. So, you guys, the the criticism is always going to be there. You're going to get praise for the things that you're doing, but do not let that go to your head, meaning work, that's where you stop. You think you've done something fabulous and you stop working hard, never. You never quit, you keep going, you blow off the criticism, dust it off your shoulder and you just keep going. Because because of that mindset, a person can stay the course. Correct. If yeah. The only way the course changes is if we deviate as we're running that marathon, if, we, if, we're, running, if we're running laps or if we're running that, that sprint uh, toward a goal. Maybe there's a goal that we're sprinting toward, but there are long-term ones that we're doing a marathon for. Mm -hmm. Either way, we got to stay the course. Either one, it doesn't matter, is what you're saying. Don't get me wrong. You'll have deviations, but it's about letting it go, getting right back on track. When it comes to getting back on track, um, you can help people do that as a coach. That's why you're coaching, because you're trying to help people not only get on track, stay on track and do more than just maintenance, but literally keep reaching out with hard work, sustainable, Mm -hmm. uh, hard work, which gives them a sustainable life. I like your style. I love your energy, but more importantly, as a human being, you're an amazing person that others need to meet and get to know because you truly want to help people. Um, and, uh, it's, it's very obvious in every ounce of you. I just wish I, I, you know, if I keep talking, my frog voice is not starting to go away. And uh, I, <laughs> note to self, don't have any more nine o'clock uh, shows because <laughs> I have no idea why I woke up late today. I really don't. I, I was so ready for, for the show. The next thing I know is like 15 minutes before the show starts. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have hair. So I, just, I don't have to do, do a lot. But you made this. You made what, is, what was that again? I said winning. <laughs> you play <need> me. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Now you're going to start. We should just do a show of a bunch of little sayings that people have said. I, not, right now, I want to say, Hot Pockets. I don't know why. I just, I don't know why. All right. I, it's because I like Jim Gaffigan. All right. So um, what I need to do is I need you to say a few words. Hi, Mohammed. Uh, um, I hope I'm saying everybody's name wrong <laughs> because then you'll tell, you'll correct me. Uh, so Justin has been here, uh, sincerely Nikki's, uh, passed through and hopefully still here. Noelia, uh, others. Um, so I just appreciate everybody showing up yes. to give a uh, coach some support. 
this open session uh, page that I have is really more about uh, the audio, uh, even though it is a visual podcast. Um, it's really uh, a show uh, in which uh, you're able to listen to. Uh, you can look at us as well, but uh, you can uh, put us in your in your ear while you're jogging or, or other things, or, or just play it while you're walking around the house. And uh, you can get to meet some interesting people on Instagram. Open Session Podcast is all about interviewing intriguing, interesting, provocative, encouraging, positive people, insightful people on Instagram that I find or that you tell me to go find. You are not a diamond in the rough, my friend. You are a true ruby. Uh, you're, you're worth every ounce uh, that uh, of your existence has brought us uh, to meet you. Everything that uh, has happened that we know nothing about has made you who you are. And uh, your husband is a smart man uh, to marry you and uh, be with you every day because he's going to get somebody special every day he wakes up. And uh, we get the honor to meet you now and see uh, what he sees in you. And uh, we look forward to having you more on uh, this platform in some shape, form or another, because, Coach, uh, you're the real deal. Uh, you're the real deal uh, as a human being. As a woman, too, without a doubt. I don't want nobody getting mad at me. I don't get hate mail, but I don't want nobody to so recognize her as a woman. Okay, yeah, but she's a human being first. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you as a human being. You make the planet a better place with your very existence and your family. But more importantly, your dogs are awesome, by the way. <laughs> so, they didn't get their debut today, but I'm telling you right now, they're awesome. Yes, thank you. Yes, they're awesome dogs. Everybody, you'll get a chance to see them, no doubt, one day. Yeah. Uh, we'll get you back. Uh Last, last set of words, drop the mic moment. If you were given a coaching session and this is coming to an end, the coaching session is coming to an end. What would you tell us if this was a coaching session and you wanted to drop some, some encouragement, drop some knowledge or whatever it may be, but drop something on us. Just don't flung no poop. Go yeah, ahead. No poop coming. But since Jeff yeah. actually something um, that I, I um, took from him that he said a very long time ago, and that was always invest in your health. Because health is like money and you never know what you have until it's gone. So you guys, seriously, today's Thursday. Be thankful and think of something really good that you can do today for yourself, first off, and how to spread that love to the others. That's awesome. That's awesome, Coach. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for being here. I, I see the wave out uh, from Mohammed. Um, I appreciate it. I saw some hearts going across the screen. Thank you, everyone. If you get to hear this and meet Coach Jess this way, please Handler. like, comment, share, follow her page. <laughs> Not because she wants followers, but because she wants to touch lives. Okay, everybody? Yeah. Um, coach, we'll talk soon. Thank you, everybody. Love everybody. Bye. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. We'll see you. Bye.